Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up SSH private key for accessing private GitHub repositories from your computer. As you can see here, if you try to clone with the normal password authentication, GitHub will give you an error. Follow the steps below to set up SSH on your computer and GitHub account. This process should be the same regardless of what operating system you're using. First, you'll need to generate an SSH key on your computer, so run the following command. SSH keygen dash T, we're going to generate with type RSA and leave a comment there. I will just put my email address, hit enter, and we'll save it with a default name. Enter passphrase, we will not be generating a key with a passphrase, so just hit enter to skip that. And now let's add the private key to our SSH client by running the following command, SSH add and the path to the private key. Your private key path might be a little different from mine. Mine is under the .ssh slash and the id underscore rsa is my private key. Whatever the um, key is without the .pub, that is your private key. So for me, that would be .ssh slash id rsa. And if I hit enter, you can see that it has been added. In the case that you get an error, you might need to start your SSH agent uh, manually. To do this, you can run ssh-agent-s. However, if this um, also gives you an error, you can also try eval backtick ssh agent dash s backtick, and that should work. Now that we have generated our SSH keys, let's add the public key to the GitHub. Do take note, revealing your public key is perfectly fine, but as indicated by the name, keep your private key private and keep it in a safe place because it gives access to all of your private GitHub repositories once we do add it to your GitHub. Now you'll want to open up your public key and copy the contents. If you're on a Linux or Mac machine, you can use the cat command, which I'll be doing here in a moment, to print out the contents to the terminal. If you're on a Windows, you can go ahead and open up where the file is located, right click, and open up with notepad or some other code editor or text editor and copy the contents manually. So let's go ahead and print it out. Um, again, it is located here with the .pub ending, so I can print it out with .ssh slash id rsa dot pub and let's go ahead and copy and now let's go to github.com if you go to the right hand corner click uh, go to settings once you're at settings go to the left hand side click on ssh and gpg keys click on new ssh key and go ahead and paste your key right here and for the title, I will just call it um, tutorial. And we can go ahead and add SSH key. And you'll need to enter your password, confirm. And there it is. We have added it in there. And now, if we go back to our GitHub repository, we can go ahead and test this out. So go ahead and click on copy the SSH. And if we go back to our terminal, we should be able to git clone and click on yes and there we go there is our github private repository and you have added your ssh key successfully to your computer and github account congratulations thank you so much for watching and if you found this to be helpful please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more